hey pretty sweet gang mo here and welcome back to my channel today we are making love letter pies i am so excited to show you guys this tutorial it is just the cutest little thing for valentine's day so first you're gonna need a box of pre-made pie crust you're gonna need some fresh berries you can also use your favorite pie filling we're gonna use some little heart sprinkles some granulated sugar and egg wash now the tools that you're gonna need is a little mini heart cutter you're gonna need a pizza dough cutter you're also gonna need a pastry brush and a little knife so we're gonna get right into it i'm gonna go right ahead and open my pie crust i did take these straight out of the fridge so if you want we're only going to use one part of the pie crust you can let it set out for about five minutes before you begin to work with it because as you'll see here in the video it is still really chilled so i'm gonna have a little bit of a hard time unrolling and i'm gonna end up with a few tears in the dough but hey it's okay we just roll with the punches whatever happens we just keep it moving so you just want to basically unroll your pie crust if we can get this unrolled here see it's still kind of stiff and like i said you just want to let it get a little to room temp you don't want it to get too warm but not like really cold straight from the fridge before you unroll it so that you can make sure you don't tear it like I am. But if you happen to get excited and get ahead of yourself like I do a lot of times, you can just kind of, it's just pie, pie dough. You can kind of like smash it back together the best you can. It's not the end of the world. Voila, there we go. So you want to take your little heart cutter and you want to go ahead. We're going to create four of these love letter pies today. So I'm going to go right in and cut out four mini hearts. These are going to be the stamps to our envelopes. And I'll show you guys that in just a few minutes. Now, once after you get your hearts cut out, depending on how many of these you're going to do, you may need to use both parts of your pie crust but I'm only gonna do for today so I'm just using this one side so I'm gonna cut off all the curved edges to my pie crust and um, make a large square well right now I'm cutting up the middle and then I'm gonna cut across and then I'll just go back and cut the other rounded edges off so I'm doing here so that we can create four squares and these are gonna be our envelopes Okay, so I'm going to clean all the excess out of the way and the scrap dough you can go ahead and wrap in saran wrap and throw it in the freezer or the fridge depending on how soon you'll use it just until next time. So you want to take one of your squares and you basically want to turn it to form a diamond shape. Now you want to take your strawberry, make sure your greens are cut off and go ahead and cut slices down but do not go all the way through or you can also just create slices and lay it in the middle of your pie crust but I'm just gonna sand the strawberry open and then we're gonna lay that in the center of the crust and we are going to sprinkle a little granulated sugar just to sweeten that up a little bit because once we bake the strawberries are gonna create juice and the sugar is just to add a little sweetness and this is also optional. You don't have to add sugar if you want a lower sugar intake. And then you wanna take your egg wash and your pastry brush and we're just gonna go around the edges of our pie crust. And at the top of the diamond, I'm gonna put a little extra because I'm gonna add some sprinkles there and that is gonna be kind of like the glue that holds everything in place. There we go. You don't want to use too much egg wash. It doesn't take much at all because you don't want to have eggs. You don't want it to cook and turn into eggs. So we're going to take that bottom corner and we're going to fold it up to the middle. And then we're going to take both sides one at a time and we're going to meet all of those points in the middle of our strawberry and be sure to seal your creases. And there is our envelope, guys. Isn't that so cute? I just love this. Then you wanna take a dab of egg wash and you wanna put your heart stamp right there in the middle. 
and make sure that it adheres well and then take some sprinkles which this is also optional you don't have to do that but i just thought it would be really cute to add those as if they are falling out of the letter you guys can also like step this recipe up as well and add a cream cheese filling in the inside along with their strawberries that will be really yummy make sort of like a strawberry turnover dessert so we're just going to repeat the steps here for each pie and i'm just going to let you guys watch this since i explained it on the first one and i will be back If you guys haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so now, please. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you, that you'll be notified when I upload more videos. And if you're already a subscriber, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I will be leaving the ingredients and the steps to this tutorial in the description box below so be sure to check that out and if you need to go ahead and screenshot that so you will have it for later use. Okay guys, what I'm doing now is taking some of my egg wash and I'm gonna go ahead and brush that lightly on the outside of my pie crust so that we can achieve a pretty and crispy golden brown and it'll also have a shine to the crust once they're done. And my oven is preheated to 350 degrees and I'm gonna bake these for 15 minutes. Now that depends upon your oven. If your oven gets really hot, you may need to bake on 325, but these pies are mini so definitely no longer than 15 minutes and again it just depends on your oven so i hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video and if you really do enjoy this please be sure to like and share and let me know in the comments below and i'll see you guys in the next one